Well, if you get in a car wreck, you better like the insurance settlement because a new law might make it harder for you to sue your insurance company. The civil remedies law was signed by Governor Ron DeSantis on Friday, but some county clerks say it is creating some unintended consequences. News Channel H Jack Roy, you're here now with a, what the law is already causing. It's a legal backlog, Jack. Keith, Jen, good evening. Take Hillsborough County, for example. About 9,000 civil lawsuits were filed last month. This month, so far, about 50,000 lawsuits have been filed. That is a pretty big jump, all on the heels of House Bill 837, which changes the rules of civil litigation. You hope it doesn't happen to you. But if you get in an auto accident and file an insurance claim, you might not be satisfied. Before now, you could have hired an attorney, and if you won the lawsuit, the insurance company would cover the legal fees, but not anymore. It's the old David versus Goliath scenario when it comes to the average Floridian going up against an insurance company. Anthony Gonzalez is a trial attorney and former insurance defense lawyer who warns the insured who receive insurance payouts they aren't happy with now have fewer options if they can't afford a lawyer themselves. As an attorney, you weren't given much opportunity to decide, do I need to file on this case? or do I not need to file on this case based, based upon the changes? In many counties, that's led to a growing backlog of new filings. It's important for those that are in the court system to know that we might have delays in the civil area. The Pasco County Clerk says her office has worked through the weekend to keep up with the thousands of new cases filed just in the last week. This huge wave has occurred, and will it continue to occur now that the, um, the, the bill has been signed? You know, I guess time will tell on that. Governor DeSantis signed House Bill 837 into law on Friday, sold as a plan to cut down on frivolous lawsuits by changing certain legal framework. But a county like Pasco went from seeing an average of 12 cases filed in a day to 800 just last Tuesday. It's going to affect the citizens of the state of Florida. They can least afford to hire lawyers. So the bottom line for now, at least, clerks say to expect a backlog of cases that could now take years to resolve in civil court. The Pasco County clerk says they're now looking at bringing in retired judges or additional staff to help shoulder that burden. Jack Royer, 8 on your side.